Through These Doors is sponsored by Shields. They're out there. You'll find them spending countless frosty mornings crouched in blinds, fishing endless misty bays, charging up steep hills, pushing their bodies to the limit. They rise before dawn and get home past dark. No one is born a Shields expert, but it's as if some are born to be one. Shields, they have to be experts out there before we call them experts in here. at the Ralph for one final regular season weekend, the University of North Dakota men's hockey team hosted Omaha, seeking every point possible. The Fighting Hawks came out firing on Friday. UND scored twice and outshot the Mavericks 18-4 in the first. Side or back in behind the net, Joe's picked it up, turns and shoots and scores! Wow. Tyson Joe sniping Blankenberg with his 12th goal of the season to make it 2 0 North Dakota. The races to the Omaha line, slides it to Joe's. Now the Gerson back with Messer for a tap in <laughs> goal. What a beautiful play, and Brock Messer finishes it off. After building a 3 0 lead, however, Omaha flipped the script and tied it up, heading to the third. At 4 4, UND showed its potential. Freshman Tyson Joe scored a highlight real goal to put the Fighting Hawks ahead. Behind the net for Joe. Defenseman lost his stick. Messer, what a move by Joe. And wow. Brody scores! Oh my goodness! Then Brock Besser added another. Now a steal, a shot. Besser scores! Yeah, those are high-end plays. You know, those uh, obviously, uh, you know, they're high-end players. They made high-end plays, and uh, you know, at this time of year, uh, when, when the games are so tight, you need those game-breaking plays, and, and they uh, they managed to do it. But UND hoped that win on Friday would carry over into Saturday, sending the seniors off with a win. That, however, wasn't the case. There would be no Sports Center top ten moments that night. Instead, the worst defensive team in the NCHC handed UND a 3 to nothing loss. The fifth time the Fighting Hawks have been shut out this season. UNO scored once in the first, once in the third, and added an empty netter for the final result.
UND upperclassmen were searching for answers. We got a short season left and we, we have to uh, bring it every night and we can't take any shortcuts to get there and, and tonight I, don't, I think we didn't play with uh, enough urgency and and with the, with the season on, on the line basically for us we didn't, we didn't bring enough so um, fortunately we have we have uh, four, four guaranteed games left and, and we're going to make the most of them. One final weekend, one last chance. Sitting squarely on the bubble for the NCAA tournament and on the road for the NCHC playoffs, UND travels to Miami this weekend. The final regular season games for North Dakota are big ones. I think it's the most important weekend of the year so far. I think, you know, just kind of looking at the standings where we are, I think we all know that, you know, we got to go in there and uh, you know, play, play our North Coast style game, both games, and uh, hopefully get two wins. They're a pesky team. Um, you know, they got, they got some skilled guys. They got some guys that can score. They got, you know, a, a good group defensively. So um, we know it's going to be a battle. Every game in the NCHC is always a battle. And we had a 3-1 lead going in the third on Friday against them, and they came back and scored. Uh, five or six goals in the third period against us, and uh, you know they have a really good team this year. Um, you know, once we uh, get up on them, we have to you know step down and uh, really keep keep scoring goals and just kind of take them out of the game. You know, obviously we like it. Uh, we'd like to be in a better position, but uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna make with what we what we have right now, and, and we're gonna do our best to uh, go on uh, go into Miami and, and try and win two uh, two games at a tough place to play. Playing two solid games in a row has been a challenge for UND this season. I think we just have to bring our full effort uh, both nights, and, and I think the biggest problem with our team this year has been uh, not playing a full 60 minutes. I think whenever we do play a full 60 minutes, um, the results are good for us. You know, I think it's just been our lack of consistency throughout the year. And, um, you know, there's a lot of lulls in game, and there's you know a lot of a lot of uh, momentum swings, and that's something that we we've, we've been learning throughout this year, and I think something that maybe has gone our way a couple times and hasn't gone our way a couple times as well. So, um, you know, it's just working on our consistency and making sure we're bringing it for a full 60 minutes. I think you know if uh, we play the the way we know how to play both games, I think we can definitely get two wins. The good news is that the Fighting Hawks have been better on the road. You know, there's. There's times where we play like we're the best team in the nation, and then maybe times where we play like we're one of the worst teams in the nation. But I think it's just um, you know finding that way when we're at our best. You know when when guys are buying in, when guys are, are accepting their roles, when when guys are doing the little things right. That's when we're having success. So. It starts with uh, you know during the week having good practices and just being consistent and and you know extremely focused and you know you have to take it shift by shift when, it, when the weekend comes and just have consistent uh, quality yeah, effort. I, know. I think you just kind of break apart the game by five minutes at a time, you know, just win every five minutes uh, throughout the whole game. I think if we all just show that we care and I'll compete the other team, I think we can get the job done. Hockey is a funny sport where, you know, you just, you know, teams can get hot up and something you preach is you just got to stick with it. And, you know, it's, you know, it's never too late. And, um, <laughs> No one's, no one's going to quit in the room, and you got to stick with it and, you know, just, just keep going. Nothing comes easy. If this team wants to extend its season, they know it's going to take hard work and a consistent effort. We, we really haven't gone through anything like this. We've been blessed to have, you know, unbelievable teams over the, over the past three years. But, um, you know, I, we still all have faith in this team. And, um, you know, one big thing that we tell all the younger guys to to do is just not to lose hope and um, you know to continue to believe in our group and um, you know our season's not over we got a lot of a lot of games left and um, you know we got our league playoffs coming up here and that's going to be huge and you know maybe we'll do something we haven't done yet. Our playoff mentality didn't really start last year until um, the regional and right now it needs to start um, this weekend and we can't wait around for anything to happen so um, there's definitely a learning curve there and you have to you have to realize what's on the line and, and what you have to uh, put forward to to uh, win games in these in these critical times.